Hi, I'm Kate Perdoni. And I'm Michael Gablin. Welcome back to Arts District on Rocky Mountain PBS. Babette's is an artisan bakery that opened in Denver just over five years ago. Owners Steve and Catherine Scott have embraced the challenge of high altitude baking. Scott is a bicycle racer turned baker and he's been experimenting with the science of bread for nearly two decades. His techniques have led to national recognition in the baking world and a sense of community in Colorado. Arts District producer Janine Tradell takes us there. <laughs> Bread making is my artistic expression. I know the technique. I spent almost half my life doing it. I was wasting my time racing bicycles and I needed a job. So I got into cooking. Cooking led me to the bakery. I was going down the pastry highway. It took a little bit longer to get to bread. So I took a two week bread course, quit the gravy train job, and went to work on a farm baking organic breads, naturally leavened, in brick ovens. It was sort of a match made in heaven. My biggest influence was a picture of a baker. It was a picture of a really tired guy. It had nothing to do with bread. It had everything to do with a worker that looked really tired, but could probably go home and look himself in the mirror and know that he did a good thing that day. Good morning. Catherine, my wife, is the general manager. Definitely the face of our bakery. They're so good. Yeah. I like working with people. I've always been kind of a people person. All right, well, thanks so much. Enjoy. I do all the mixing, all the ordering, all the baking. I kind of wish I had more cooking skills like my husband has, and I absolutely do not. My husband was inspired by the movie Babette's Feast which is about a woman who comes to a town that's depressed and cures them with a meal. What distinguishes Babette's is the drive that my husband has. He has an incredible amount of passion and dedication, using his senses to see if it's right, and feel if it's right, and smell if it's right, and kind of a scientific approach. Bread is a living thing. You have to feed it. I don't use commercial yeast. I use natural Levan. If I see on the side of the bin, there's plenty of fermentation bubbles. If I taste it, it has a little bit of sour to it, but it's more buttery, more creamy, and more weedy. If the Levan is like spot on, you can almost smell the field where the grain was grown. That's fermentation. And I know that it's ready to go into the dough and it's ready to leaven the dough. We bake pretty dark here. This is just the natural color of the fermented wheat. When the bread goes in the oven, it's baking, but the outside of it is caramelizing. You only get that color through extremely long fermentation with a well-hydrated dough. I had a certain personality with bread, and over the course of time, the nature of who I am and how I wanted bread to be, I could get it to do what I wanted it to do. Is there anything that you brought to bread baking that you had with you in your racing bicycles? Um, a bad attitude. <laughs> You have to be competitive in this industry. I'm pretty competitive in my life. I wanted to be the first person to do specific things. We had an entire production that was based on 100% or more hydration. In most formulas, it's 100% flour and 70 to 80% water. We were equal parts flour and water, and most days more water than flour. So it was pretty extreme fermentation, extreme hydration. We were bringing an intensity to it that I hadn't seen anywhere. That's what helped build our reputation in the artisan baking world. Basically, we were trying to hold back an avalanche. Avalanche of fermentation is when you start adding more hydration at altitude, you have to start decreasing your leavening amount because things just move a lot faster up here. So the first couple of years were a little crazy. What separates us out from the crowd of bakers is that I'm still pretty adamant that we're gonna hand mix. I still want crazy fermentation, high hydration. I still want a small micro shop. Catherine and I have built a bakery based on small amounts of really high quality product. And if you get here early, you can have some. So I'm that baker now. I'm tired. 
but I know that every day I can go home and know that I gave everything to it. It's almost like paying homage to someone that came before me. If I'm gonna walk in those same footsteps, then I have to be able to do the job. It's an age-old thing that we're doing, we're bakers. We're just trying to master the fermentation in our region, in our bakery, and in our hands through technique. A lot of other bakers from around the world visit here and they're very excited for what we do, but I think it's better to stay humble in that face because at the end of the day, we still have to do it again tomorrow and hopefully we are able to stand up to today. Do you want a middle piece or an end piece? He could have been the world's most amazing scientist. Big plans for the weekend? A lot of our customers come for the overall experience of just incredible food, but also to be greeted by us. That's really important. How's it going? Yeah, very good. Good. Our philosophy when we first started was, let's get through this. Well, thanks so much. You guys Thank have a you. good weekend. We will. Thank you guys too. Now our philosophy and mission statement is definitely customer service. Make people happy through food. Keep it high quality. Keep it small. Great technique. Good mixing. Great fermentation. High quality products. Every day, trying to go above and beyond what it is they expect. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks so much. Enjoy. Right? <laughs> For that fresh bakery aroma, visit Babette's new location in Longmont. All of their info is at babettesbakery.com.